purpose of this video is to create a birthday card for a male and as you can see here I'm preparing everything for this card. I'm using three types of paper. So there is the 240 GSM double-sided card as you can see here, the glittery page and the 240 to 280 GSM Miri paper, the one which is a bit shiny there with a beautiful design and some pearls on top. I got this one from Create and Craft and there was a special offer, so it was very, very cheap in the end. I like using all these extra elements, the graphite texture uh, paste plus a stencil which I'm going to apply on all the three pages. All these pages have been scored to form a multi-layered card as you can see here. And uh, I really like this uh, graphite paste which is going to have on top some clay items I'm going to make later on and you'll see here plus several new things I'm going to take you step by step. On the main page uh, I already created this design but it's going to be covered by lots of elements so I decided to use this cheap aquarels I got some time ago from Poundland in London so because everything is in colors of yellow green burnt orange that is why the card is also covered in this aquarius you don't need to use something expensive uh, because it's going to be covered plus i like this very delicate colors to go together with the graphite paste which is simply amazing in real life it's a bit glitterish so is really beautiful other things I want to do is using this modeling clay and stencil I got on eBay to create these little angels. And this was my first attempt using this stencil and I am so happy with it. I will have to use it in other projects because these angels look so, so cute in real life the definition because they are bigger than the other ones as you can see there is much better so they are really uh, beautiful now need to put all the elements together on this card. And as you can see, I created a design. I'm very happy with this arrangement. So this is what I'm going to put on my card. I'm using lace, flowers, chipboard, all of them purchased at Dollar Tree, Dollarama, Michaels and other similar shops in both USA and Canada during the, my trips in the previous years. And these two frames were from a different project. I chose to cover my clay elements in gesso because they dried from that dark gray you saw originally to a lighter gray. So I let them overnight to dry. So so in order to put colors and lots of other things on these clay items, I need to cover them 
in gesso. In the past I made my gesso, now I was pressured by time, so I decided to buy this uh, gesso uh, on eBay. I think I paid some five pounds for a big jar, so it was very good value for money. These flowers, I purchased them in bulk from Michaels, as I said, during my previous trips, and I really like their quality. Michaels has lots of offers when you are in the shop, so it's worth popping now and then there if you like purchasing flowers besides making your own. I'm mounting all my elements using different chipboards for 3D effect and I'm going to also be stamping my elements rather than cover them in painting. I also like using this chipboard I purchased from Canada. <laughs> it's a merry chipboard and I will also be using Cosmic Shimmer Wax later on. I don't like always painting my elements, so that's why I like stamping. So I've got lots of stamps in the house. I purchased them many years ago, just like this Cosmic Shimmer Wax, which is very, very beautiful in real life. So it's worth investing in these things. Plus the quality is amazing. I don't like throwing money down the drain, so I only purchase something which is very, very good quality and is going to last forever. This clock and the heart you see there uh, are actually plastic and I think I purchased them from Walmart in the States some years ago. Uh, they are buttons, but why not use them on this type of cards? Check my other projects I made in the past using this chipboard and plastic elements and uh, flowers. I like purchasing in bulk most of the time. And of course, it's the time to use some embossing powder. And I'm also using this Studio G pigment ink. These two are very, very good quality. It's very important to invest under in the right embossing powder and the right pigment ink because some of them are very bad quality despite receiving lots of excellent reviews both on Amazon or eBay is very very strange maybe the quality differs from country to country I'm not sure what's going on I'm going to use another type of uh, pigment ink later on this golden one which is very beautiful I'm also going to use cosmic shimmer glitter paste which is very very good quality I buy it for many years. Besides Ranger Multimedia Matte, uh, together with little bits, you are going to see uh, later on. So these are the right things to invest in if you like uh, having good quality items to use over and over again in your projects. As ever, I hope all this information was of help to you. Check my other projects to see what I have done in the past or if you want to check where I purchased my items in the past back in 2018 and 2019 where everybody could travel. <laughs> so there you have it. Thank you for watching and have a very nice day. Bye.